Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 and episode uh, 108 of our blind playthrough. Hey, really quickly before we do anything else, uh, this episode goes out on Friday, uh, which is what I was thinking. Uh, I know we took a small break from Baldur's Gate 3 already over the holidays, a couple days off. This episode goes out on Friday. There's going to be no episode on Saturday or Sunday. We'll come back on Monday uh, with another episode. Sorry for the uh, stalling, but I need to take care of some stuff on my end of things. So, no episode on uh, tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, let's do it. Episode 108. In the last episode, we broke Counselor Floric out of prison, uh, which went well because every person we help, the, the promise of this quest, gather your allies, seems to be that every person we help is going to make our life easier. That's not why we do it. Ideally, Loric being reminded that Baldur's Gate 3 is worth fighting for, or sorry, <laughs> Baldur's Gate as a city is worth fi fighting for, is good for Floric and for the city. And also, hopefully, it's good for us. Either way, we've been putting off this day for a long time. It's time to go meet Gortash and attend the coronation. So we're going to do that. Let's see what this does. I'm nervous. Oh, buddy, I'm nervous. Okay, collection of people. The steel Watcher is going like crazy. There's so many Steel Watchers in here. So many. This is not good. Not good at all for us. Too many Steel Watchers. Lady Hull Holland. Okay, we're walking the red carpet. Gortash. Duke Raven Guard. I I. Council is unanimous. Let our walls be girded with steel. King's people, Baldurians, and dearest Duke Ravengar, thank you for joining me on this exceptional day. It's him, Gortash. <sighs> this is it. I can practically taste his blood from here. My father's here, Karlak. Cool your fires. He must not come to harm. We have to be really careful here. I don't think this is the time we take Gortash out. I've been maybe uh, entirely wrong, but... Mm. <clears throat> we might need Gortash alive to save the city. Let's wait until to strike until we've had the chance to question him. Karlak needs convincing not to do this, huh? I'll use inspiration if we get this wrong because this feels very important. Never mind, we're fine. Man, I'm. I, there's a lot of different ways this could go out. All right, this could go down. This next scene. You're asking a lot, but I can wait for a while at least. Let's get Baldur's Gate safe, then rip his throat out. Cheers. A moment, please, my friends. An old acquaintance has come to pay her respects. Please, Karlak. Yes, motherfucker. Come say upon <clears throat> hello. My respects? You're lucky I've agreed not to <laughs> shove my boot up your... Ah, how I've missed your colorful turns of phrase. We must catch up just as soon as I've had words with your little friend. Little? Who are you calling As for little? You, I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that nether stone that you carry. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the sword coasts infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well, not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided if you and I come to an understanding. Together, we can still restore authority over the brain. The Gortash makes a persuasive play for my... Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. 
I think we may have missed a cutscene or something right here. Like the dialogue restarted, which is weird. The quakes are a clear warning. I think we may have supposed to. I think we were maybe supposed to uh, see a scene of, of quaking. If nobody steps in soon, the brain will free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the infected, or the Swords Coast infected, you among them. Prison won't last indefinitely. Uh, why is the crown failing? It's not. But it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. I, there is no fucking shot I'm taking an agreement. I'm making an agreement with you. But what is the cost of not parlaying with you here? How much time do we have? Is the question I would ask. That's the question that's on my mind. I really have no idea how much time we have at all on any of the ticking time bombs that we're holding. Um, I'm not interested in bargaining with the likes of you. The likes of you stand to benefit from the likes of me. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. What are you getting at? Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know, she's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three netherstones, She'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. Well, I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. I mean, I have been walking around with the assumption that any person at any time could be Orin, including you right now. I think Orin could be in this room. I think Orin could be you right now. Uh, no shot in hell am I partnering with you. Uh, I think I would choose the chaos route over anything. Like, there's just no good that comes from me. You want me to believe you mean no harm to this city? I'd like to propose a pact. A divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. That's interesting. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. No, you win from that. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Nope, no chance. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. No shot. Together we rule Faerun as kings. <laughs> no, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. Alex, right. We should have killed him. My father? Your father will do whatever you command him to. Like any other subject in our kingdom. What do you say? Shall we be allies? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. Divine oath swore upon hmm. upon flesh and Let's spirit? Let's be allies, said the viper to the frog. Is the emperor on drugs? I read divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh as incredibly binding. And the emperor says, if it doesn't, we don't need to honor it. Maybe you don't need to honor it. You're just a different thing than me. I, I, would, I would have to honor it, I think. Oh, buddy. Uh, every instinct of mine says to the hell with your pact right now. Uh... Let's roll insight to prove my point. <laughs> I hope. 
Insight. Uh, examine Gortash's body language and expressions. Can you trust him? We get a bonus of five to eight. I will take a luck roll right now to make sure we hit it. Uh, DC 15. Perfect. Glad we did. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you. That's only part of the story, though. Him intending to share his kingdom with me is only part of the story. There's no way. I can't do it. Uh, to the hells with your pact. This is a big move, and I'm making it right now. To the hells with your pact. What a shame to refuse the power of a god. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to Please make the right Please don't kill decision. Will's dad. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter. A faceless. What does that mean? Who, I can't say. Don't I'd make me do this. A thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. No. A doppelganger in our camp. That sounds all too believable. Let this be a warning. Orin is the spark in a powder keg. I feel sick. We make an alliance, or the city is made ash. I will give you time to reconsider. Tread carefully. Remember, you must do what it takes to survive. Even if it means striking a deal with the enemy. I feel like vomiting. Oh no, your camp is compromised. It's possible this is a lie, but after so much... Oh god, I don't think... I don't know. It's possible this is a lie, but I feel like I have to assume that it's correct. Is it the kid? Is it is it the child? Laren or whatever her name is? Their name is? Is it Scratch? Let's run through the list. Is it Halson? I wouldn't guess it to be any of the companions in terms of like likelihood. Because I think the game would be asking me to sort of like I'm a fucking mess. Oh my god, I'm going to need to go to therapy over this episode. Okay. I wouldn't think it to be a companion because the game would be asking me to trust a lot if they could just, like, replace one of my companions with a doppelganger, and I'd be like, yep, sounds good to me. I didn't notice it. Uh, even though we slept beside each other every night and traveled together for 24 hours out of, every t out of every day. So I would guess it's probably not a companion. Oh, that leaves Aelin. That leaves like five people. Right? Is it Withers? I'm guessing it's the girl. I'm guessing it's the little girl. And maybe her pet. Oh, that's so bad of me that I would assume it's the little girl? I have no idea. Jesus Christ. You're on my, your own, Gortash, or you're a dead man. I can't let you take over the city. You're on your own, Gortash. Oh, but I most certainly am not. Now, come. Be witness, as I make history, as the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. It's probably not even true, but like, all I'm thinking about is my camp right now. I don't fucking know. I don't know who it could be. Okay. Um, let's get it over with. Can I be here? I might learn something. Let's get it over with. You will follow me, and you will show due respect. I hate you. You son of a bitch. Distinguished dukes, patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear.
swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same, by word, deed, and decree, so that none may suffer? I swear. Gather guests. Grant ye consent? I object. And I the Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. I have a lot of thoughts. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty handed. I got a lot of thoughts. Here's why I didn't object. Here's why I stayed for the ceremony. We have to sort of assume at this point that this is a scam. Sorry, a sham. The sham of a ritual. Who is this person? A sham of a ritual and like thing, the thing going down. Um, I don't think that the way that I defeat Gortash is by stopping him from being nominated or er, becoming the Archduke. I think I stop him a different way. Who is Lord Randolph Vanmus and why do you want to talk to me? Archduke Gortash. Now there's a man who knows good business. Finally, a leader with some charisma. Ravenguard was quite the dullard. All right, what do you want to say, uh, Karlak? So there you have it. Lord Enver Gortash in all his glory. What did you make of him? Oh. What did I make of him? He scares me more than Kethrick scared, scares me, actually. Honest to God. But I don't think because he as an individual scares me. That's the thing that scared me with Kethrick Thorm, is that he as an individual with his, like, defying death thing was scary to me. Gortash scares me because he's charismatic enough to turn a very large and powerful machine, Baldur's Gate, against me and against itself. He's charismatic enough and positioned enough and smooth enough and smart enough and that's what's scary. I can't wait to flatten him. <clears throat> Not if I get to him first. How could all these people cheer for him like that? Can't they see what a chance he is? People are mostly fools. Evidently not. I guess I didn't notice till it was too late either. I wish this city, the people running it, were smarter than me. Gortash isn't their salvation. He's the monster at the gate. What a line, Karlak. What a line. Oh, God. I feel sick to my stomach. Okay. Gortash is still here. Can we speak? Who do we speak to here? Go this way. Okay, we'll see what our quests are about here in a second. Um, I'm guessing... Yeah, we'll, we'll, let's just take a look right now. Gortash wants the uh, Netherstone to bring back to from Orin. Um, which is one option. We need to figure out how to disable the steel watch. We consider the bargain. Up with you. To ask. He did it. He's really Archduke. So excited I could jump right out of my boots. Hmm. Okay. Um let's go chat with some other people. See if we can learn anything here. And these fists and hangers on. Absolute army won't stand a chance. Gortash will crush them like roaches under his boot. Times of strife produce the finest leaders. Okay. Archduke Gortash will be no exception. Ooh. 
I'm not sure we can talk to many more of these people because it's making me, uh, it's just, uh, what the kids call glazing. Archduke, quite something, don't you think? I dare say Baldurang himself would approve. Just the, uh, like unrepentant praising of this motherfucker. Uh, how's this handmaiden doing? What's your deal? Good day to you. Okay, good day to you. Uh, Patriarch, anyone have any... The only reason I'm talking to you... An historic day. The is for city's first archduke. Some sort of intel or, uh... Some sort of... Insight into something else. Lord my raven shade. Thank the living gods. God. Okay, I'm literally gonna click through if it doesn't... I don't want to listen to it. Finally. I'm not gonna listen to this praise. I'll click through rather than hear it. I may speak only to my lord. Sure. Terribly sorry. Terribly sorry. Handmaiden, new fist here. I the Archduke. He the safety is my duty, okay. New books, this is what we want. Gortash Blacklist, this is what we want. I was looking at the wrong place. Of course they wouldn't say anything out loud be the written stuff okay can I read this and then we need to speak to to uh, uh, older Raven guard from the desk of Inver Gortash I require a list of all patriarchs planning to absent themselves from my coronation I request they be brought to my private offices at the earliest possible moment that I may see if they might be brought round to the new order of our city Patriarch's Journal. Minutes of the most recent meeting of the Parliament of Peers. Includes a full roll call. Single proposal for consideration, including the naming of Gortash. One person abstained. 22 voted yes. Who abstained? That's a very interesting detail. Parliament of Peers Council of Four shall be dissolved at the completion of investiture. Which is the uh, the thing we just watched? Or sorry, I bet it is. I bet investiture is the word for what we just watched. Okay, this is bad. Can't deny it's bad. Incineration caster. Oh yeah. Let's talk to Shatter Shield. The Steel Watch has made an impenetrable fortress out of the Sword Coast Crown Jewel. I can't think of a better endorsement for Gortash than that. Lady Elia. Ravenguard has not once failed this city. If he trusts Gortash, then so do I. Oh, buddy. Gortash has some, has uh, the thing with these parasites is that he's basically uh, you don't even have to parasite everybody. You just have to parasite enough people to make it he's got like the social capital enough people support him that the rest of them are like oh sure can't be anything wrong with supporting Archduke him Duke Gortash man of the people okay all right listen an Archduke fine Jesus Christ all right let's talk to Duke Older Raven Guard see what happens sharp as ever your father once the Grand Duke, now a pawn in the Absolute's game. Your infected minds smolder in each other's presence. My dearest boy, the hells have touched you. But you've come to me, just as Gortash said you would. Father and son, Aww. unstoppable generals. Together, we will usher in a new dawn. It's not that kind of day. Jesus Christ, I have no idea what to say here. I'm going to quick save in case I accidentally fuck something up. I'll save you from the Absolute's Thrall. Or Floric sent me. I'm here to help you. Floric sent me. Help me? Ah, the Black Widow caught you in her web. Floric chose shadow over light. Her betrayal burned deeper than the fires of a furnace. 
She's been punished for her lies. Don't let her get to you. The Duke wants to keep Florek's location a secret. Little does he know that you've already found and freed her. <laughs> my father, my hero, I'll save you from the Absolute's thrall. What is a hero, my son? If not an actor for the greater good, Freyrun suffers in darkness. Tear has abandoned us. Helm's eye has strayed. But Baldur's Gate will soon burn bright, a beacon to light the heavens. You, Gortash, and I will ignite the final spark, my son. And that is the greatest of goods. Don't you understand? You're... <laughs> In my mind, we're just speaking to the parasite. Not you are infected with an illithid parasite, but I'm speaking to the illithid parasite. We'll try it, though. For a brief moment, uncertainty clouds his mind, hmm. then dissipates. The astral prism vibrates in concord. What nonsense is this? I... The prism quivers once more. Raven mm, God falters. Interesting. Help me. Your tadpole seizes. The prism stills. Raven Guard's empty eyes meet yours. As I said, Baldur's Gate will ascend. Very cool. To Rill's first and only grand city. Baldur's Gate will ascend. I have a bardic. Oh my god, I may have to take this. I know it's using my illithid powers. Being implanted, uh, uh, but I get a plus 10 for my bardic roll. Call on your tadpole and explore Raven Guard's uncertainty. I'm gonna quick save in case this is something I don't really wanna do, but. DC of two. Hoggleable, right? Why can't I get rid of it? First comes a vision of terror. The city of Baldur's Gate taken by Lithids. But beyond the terror, there is hope. You see a beaming raven guard presiding over the sunlit city, applauded by the people. A people at peace. The true raven guard is still clinging on somewhere in that mine. It might not be too late for him. Have we finished then? <laughs> uh, I love Elder Raven Guard just continuing. Are we done then? Right as we're talking about him. Okay. It's not too late. That's good enough. That's good enough. Can't give up now. Talk to Will. What's on your mind? Shit. Wrong person. Um, talk to Will. Your parasite binds your mind to Will's. Your memories of talking with Raven Guard become his. You spoke with my father. No, you Incredible. spoke with my fa your father. To hear his voice speak those words, like a stranger wrapped in his flesh. But there's still a glimmer of him in there, calling for release. Great news. I feel it. I know it. I won't let the Absolute keep him. This is my pledge. I'll do my best. Let's try. Oh, now the worst thing. Hmm. What glory. We're going to speak to, uh, I guess we'll speak to him now, whatever. Dearest Karlak, I'd busy myself finding Orin if I were you. I'll still be here for any unfinished business once you've secured your camp. That's it. Stop That's saying all that. all you have to say secured to me. Secured your camp. Were you hoping for something else? A word of wisdom? A hug? Thanks to you, I don't hope for things anymore. I just take whatever it is I want. See you soon, motherfucker. You most certainly will. See you soon, motherfucker. Hell yeah, Carlac. Go off, go off. Now here's the question. Door here. 
Nope, nope, nope. Don't talk to anybody. Um, we're just gonna skip through things really mm -hmm. quickly to see if there's a. Uh... Raven Guard freed from the hells. Archduke Gortash secures our borders. Let's see if there's anything uh, promising over here. Patriarchs, patriarchs. Under Gortash was safe. My fortunes are safe. The absolute blight will be a hot. So this place is just supposed to make you feel like shit, huh? Is that how we're doing this? We're just feeling like shit all over the place. Why must you make everything such a bother? The city is only as strong as its walls. Gortash. Hmm. Um. Greetings, no. citizen Fluffington. I trust you are enjoying. I forgot I said Fluffington earlier. Trying to talk to you. I am at my lead. Okay. Nothing. A good leader no. Hmm. Uh yeah, none of you people have anything going on. What are they thinking? Giving Wait. People like him are meant to follow, not to lead. Archduke Gortash will realize that soon enough. Silifri Sashinstar, the one sane person. People like him are meant to follow, not to lead. Oh my god, we found him. Silifri Sashin. A commoner made Archduke of Baldur's Gate. I never thought I'd see the day. Wait, D, are you hating on the commoner? Because that's weirdly wrong, but also in this specific case, kind of right? Here's my next question. Can I just go through these doors? It says red, so I don't think so. Not for yep, never mind. Use, All right, cool. Seems. We'll just reload. Respect. LOL, the person being like, a commoner? Archduke of, sure, it's Gortash, who we love, but not a commoner. I don't think that's actually what it meant. I think it was meant to be like, Gortash pulled himself up by his bootstraps. Gosh. A story of success right there. All right, well, we've done it. We've attended the goddamn coronation. Get me out of the hell out of here. Put me back in the city where I belong. Speak to Mizora. What did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. I've had enough, Mizora. What do you want? Your attention, little pup. Nothing more. And you'll be glad to give it. This is a very you bad see, day. Gortash has had your father relocated. We just saw him. Where have they taken him? To the slaughter, the way I hear it. Shit. Your dad's good as dead, pup. And to think. There's no way to save. Him. Why would Mizora do this? Is to dangle there? a deal, right? You dangle know a deal. Something. I know enough. I'll be in your camp if you want to work something out. Fucking devils, dude. Jesus Christ. I hate them. I hate them all. I hate them all. Rescue the Grand Duke. We can uh, hang out at camp. Okay, we can do that. Of course she'd stick her infernal nose where it doesn't belong. Of course she's dreamt up some risible scheme. By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning? And also, my question is, what does the word risible mean? Such as to provoke laughter. A laughable scheme. Ah, risible is such as to provoke laughter. Interesting. Your father's involved, which means it's worth hearing out. Mazora's always worth hearing out. That's what makes her so <laughs> dangerous. We'll have answers soon enough. Mazora's gone to camp. We should speak with her. Until then, may my father keep safe, whatever coop he's been flown to. You have any idea where? No? These boots have seen everything. These boots were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. 
Okay, I think we can come out the other side, too. Let's go in here. We're going to go to camp before too long, but I want to keep exploring. We just long rested not that long ago, so it may be a day or two before we go to camp. Maybe an episode or two. Recruitment poster. This is the barracks for the uh, fist, uh, by the way. Find pride and purpose in the flaming fist. Join today. Led by Raven Guard. Okay. New recruit booklet. From Gauntlet Edwina. You've done a lot of training up to this point. Forget all of it. Baldurians are not meek and innocent. The only justice most of them deserve is the blunt end of a club. Every last one is either a criminal already or one theft away from becoming one. Don't trust a soul. They don't trust you. Fear leads to order. Order leads to peace. God, I didn't realize we were playing Frostpunk. Wait, Frostpunk? Uh, is that the name of the game? Yeah, Frostpunk. I love that game. Um, I am not about to read all this uh, all this history of the Flaming Fists. Uh, I'm not in the mood. This motherfucker put me in a bad mood. Home post. Uh, all I want is information and things that will help me on my quest. Home post what? dispatched. Oh, uh, oh, hello. What are you? What are you doing in here? You notice the gnome slip a lockpick into his pocket. I was going to say. He is doing something wrong. You're not a fist. Go on, get out, or I'll, I'll wake the others. You're also not a fist. Um. Your persuasion. Sure, if you want me to tell them that you were trying to steal their belongings. Twenty-nine. I'm no thief. I, I was going to pay it back. Eventually, I just, I needed the gold. Okay. What did you need it for? I'm getting out of here. Taking a ferry down the coast to get me home. Those bloody crooks at the docks are charging triple, though. Danger money. It's a joke. What's got them so spooked at the docks? You haven't heard. An army is coming. No, I hadn't heard. They're saying it's unstoppable. My wife said we have to stand and fight, and... And I can't. I won't. I'm not made for this. Uh... I'm gonna give him some money. Will this get you home? Really? You'll just... Give it to me. Look, hidden up on the roof, you'll find all the stuff I stole. Let's go. You can have it. Thank you. I'll never forget this. Never. Uh, it's leaping. All right. See you, kid. Wait, you're just going to sit down right here? Okay, well, I thought you were going to uh, flee. <laughs> but you did not flee. Interesting. I feel bad for him. Uh, being scared of war is not the worst crime you can commit. I don't know. That's my that's my take. Mom, I've been sleeping worse since my last letter. This letter is from Krill. These bleeding headaches rack me from set till rise. Worse and worse each time. Work is a write-off. Um... Mm -mm -mm. If you get any of that sleep tea kicking about, send some over. Okay. List of missing goods. Girl of Tasha's hideous laughter. Music box, magic dagger. Ring. This is probably what we uh, what we're gonna find up top. Akshi's chest. Probably some stuff in these, but I think I'm okay. What's hiding here? 
What's in the uh, what's in the bookshelf? Can't reach it. All right, whatever. All right, let's uh get me out of here. Hmm. Well, we need to find a way to get onto the roof at some point, so that's exciting. I don't know how to do it, but it's possible, apparently. I wonder where this takes you. I don't know. Keep those feet moving. Okay. Other side of town? Another oh, quake? This again. The brain is resisting its orders. Without all three stones to control it, it will soon start acting on its own will. Yeah. I know, but I don't know what to do about it. You're entering a different region. Venture forth. Uh... I was planning on it. Is that okay? Now you've got me nervous since you made me, uh... Let's do it. I think I can come back. I took a quick save just in case. I don't read that as, like, a hard barrier. You must, uh complete everything from earlier. They didn't have that kind of message, but we'll see. Overall, I think we did all right at, uh, at uh, Worms Rock, Worms Crossing. Um, we got Floric out. We denied Orin. Sorry, we denied Gortash what he wants. We saw a little spark of hope from Duke Alder Ravenguard, which seems nice. Lower City. Oh, buddy, do we got some freaking guests in here, or uh, things to do in here. All right, Lower City. What's going on over here? Along. I've got my hands full enough without gawkers. Okay. Failure to comply with something. My herd are dairy goats. I bet they're going to slaughter them, the poor things. Oh. Are they going to pay us for the animals they take? Like elves they are. Like elves they are. For the stout and sturdy. Let me see. What does that mean? For the stout and sturdy. Adventurers wanted for a perilous and profitable quest. Looking for the night song. <laughs> oh, buddy. I've seen that before. Find the night song. We found the night song. It wasn't at all what you thought it was. What I thought it was. Reagan Splint. Reagan, what's your deal? Why are you walking so slow? Still can't fathom that they hang folk in this city. Those gallows get more use than some temples. Every ten day, I write into the boulder's mouth about it, and every edition fails to mention it. Pathetic. Maybe they're so used to it doesn't shock them like it shocks you, which is not good. Oh, you, I know you. How delightful to meet in person. Oh, you've Though seen our, our tour posters. Uh, you have me at a disadvantage. I have no idea who you are. My name's Estrister, journalist. I speak to the people of Baldur's Gate so our readers don't have to. And how did you know who I was? You work for the Baldur's Mouth Gazette? 
You are quite correct. The best broadsheet around. I would certainly recommend picking up a copy in the near future. You are, after all. I was gonna say star we're on the, the front page. Mouth Gazette. Fuck. About damn time, which of my deeds did you chronicle? <laughs> if I told you, you'd lose the fun of reading it yourself. You haven't happened it's to uh the juiciest edition in an age, bound to get everyone talking about you. You didn't happen to accept a large payment from Gortash recently, did you? Uh I look forward to reading it. I bet you do. You're um, holding something back. If you'll excuse me, I've really said rather too much and written rather too little. <laughs> Good day. Good day. Do you have a paper? Can I have um, one? Uh, hello? Does, uh, does anyone want to buy a gazette? <laughs> I'll take one. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, kid. What's your deal? Oh, what's it say? Okay, so we're in the next one. This is not it. Minor quakes continue to rattle nerves. Checkpoint to Worms Crossing attacks by deep gnomes. Steel watch shrugs damage. Conflict between Arabellian nobles and cultists of Erdland drags on. Elturel disaster. Heart of the Steel. Cheres's caress, beloved stern librarian found dead in a nearby flop house. Okay. The quest is called Stop the Presses, which makes me nervous. For the stout and sturdy. Stay tonight at the Elf Song. Be wary of foreigners. Anti-hag support group poster. Attention, have you been hexed by a hag? Lost a loved one to a deal? Join other survivors of hag treachery at Baron's Goop. Oh, that's an actual quest. Rat trouble? Not for long. Hire Stompin' Boars the Rat Catcher. Your troubles will be over. Uh, you need to go to uh, the Gauntlet of Shar and take care of all the rats there. Limited stock. There is a food shortage due to absolute raiding activity. Citizens are advised to buy food in moderation so that all may eat. This is the Basilisk Gate. Okay. Eyes front and keep your nose clean, newcomer. A noose and a short drop is how we deal with troublemakers. How about waiting until I commit a crime before threatening me? Please don't attack me. I don't, I don't want to be a criminal, but I will do it if I have to. By then, it will be too late. I can't help the dead, but I can warn the living. Stay the path. Stay the path. The law, and you have nothing to fear. I don't know that that's true. I think I have plenty to fear. What's up with you guys? Thank hell we made such good time. The army of the absolute at your back certainly encourages a brisk pace. <laughs> Gasselblad? Gasselblad, the level one human. <gasps> dead person. What's going on over here? Maybe dead? If all these folks can just keep their shit together, maybe nobody else will get hurt. Maybe. What happened? She goes into the I clink? Like oh. I don't like the look in some of their eyes. Are you putting the, this person in jail? These street trash need to watch their tone. I don't the city is on a disrespect. The city's on a knife's edge. Jesus Christ. Um. Okay. I mean, let's just go up here. Fuck it. Basilisk Gate Barracks. Why is this person balancing on one leg? 
What are you doing? Basilisk Gate Barracks. Don't distract me. It's all I can do to stay balanced. Is this one of Blaze Porter's infamous punishments? Yes. I stole a purse from the evidence room. It was stupid. And I swore to Blaze Porter I'd never do it again. Ever. I have to stand on one leg until she believes me. How long is that going to take? I have no idea. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Blaze Portier. Fist, fist Clover. Hey, good looking. Behave yourself, yeah? I'd hate to see someone as pretty as you in cuffs. That's weird because I'd kind of love to see someone as pretty as you in cuffs. What? Um. The Duke's mouth. There's a sickness in our city, dear reader. It nibbles on the council's ear in private audience chambers. Whisper sweet nothings from the pages of this very broadsheet. The fetid presence of Lord Gortash is rotting our city to its core. Holly Fowles is an investigative journalist, newly freelance, aka you got fired. Oh, no, you resigned. Yes, you, Etvard. Consider this my notice of resignation. There is an undercurrent of rebellion here. It's not us versus no one. Steel Watcher Maintenance. Report mechanical issues with the Watchers to the Steel Watch Foundry on the West Docks, not to this office. Blaze Porter. Good piece of info. Lower City Docks. Okay. Um, Fist Miller. What are you guys up to? Thrassel Maria? What a name, Thrassel Maria. About time. The Manif assured me a builder would come around a ten day ago and hold it. You're not the builder, which means I've got no use for you. Why do you, uh, I'm still handy with a hammer and a chisel. <laughs> I need someone with a little more know-how. Damn it. Hooligans at the Mermaid have been using my shutters for target practice. And that's not the half of it. I've had to replace the same window three times now, not to mention the mess they've made of my front door. Now, either you learn to fix my broken shutters, or you wag your tongue elsewhere. Well, I guess I'll wag my tongue elsewhere. Uh, what's in here? Lay's Portier. I'm so nervous to go back to camp. Times do I need to say it? You sent word about a need. Said that I should come see you about it. Of course, madam. Let me just... <sighs> Forgive me. Why are you here? Is this some kind of sick joke? <laughs> do you have any idea what I've been through these past few days? What's going on here? Of Anra, my little girl, she's missing. This stupid, useless fist said she had a lead, but she must have been stuck in dream mist or something. Is Madam, she forgetting stuff? Me. You said she was taken from a tavern. You catch the barest tendrils of magic coiled around the flaming fist. Is she being? The blushing mermaid down by the docks. I told you a hundred times. Why aren't you listening? Being controlled magically. Let's do an arcana check. Give me guidance. AC DC 18. Three. If I hit a four here. Shit. All right. We're going to use an inspiration here. And we will add Lucky, because it's going to be really hard to hit. No! He sense nothing amiss. What, um... Shit. What were we discussing? I'm 
I'll help you find your daughter. You will? Thank you. And I'm going to have somebody I else talk to Porter. I have since she disappeared. In hopes they have a better arcana roll. Shadowheart. Her name is Vanra. She's seven years old. And has red hair. Like me. We were in the Blushing Mermaid when she was taken. Just up by the docks. Was anyone else with you? No. Unless you count a couple of old drinking mates at the next table. But they'd be no help. They barely remember their own names. I was sober, though. I swear. I stop in the maid for a drink sometimes. But it was only a quick one. So were you sober? Uh, you must have some witnesses. Of course. The front of house, folks and Gannett was there, and the owner of the Blush and Mermaid, Captain Grizzly. Neither lifted a finger to help me look. It was awful. I'll go there, uh, right now. Thank you. I'll head home. Can't stumble in around these idiots any longer. Come find me the moment you hear anything. Okay. All right. And then Shadowheart. The Let's see if we can pull this off. You talk to Portier. Commander Portier, acting marshal of the Fist. If you have a crime to report, please wait outside. We're currently at capacity. God damn it. I was hoping we'd get another chance. Of course we didn't, but... Your tools were stolen, right? No. <laughs> you were mugged. Wait. I'm mixing you up with another citizen. I'm terribly sorry. I'll... I'll get back to you. Are you also forgetful, or is everyone here just absolutely overwhelmed? Because that's how I read that. Registry of Citizens Complaints. Can I read it? Um, suspicious characters around the manor fill grave. Children's toys sabotaged by bad faith actors within the city. Failed to provide ev provide evidence. Me too. Me too. I also have failed to provide evidence so far. And these things have stayed interesting. Okay, let's see what's through this door. So we have a child to save. I'd love to. I'd love to try. What's in this door? Cook Camaros. A random spear in the middle of the of your building. Cooking as fast as I can. Those fists have got bottomless bellies, I swear. Hmm, okay. Prison entrance. Okay, we're gonna uh, stay right here and call it an episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed it. We've made it to the lower city, the Basilisk Gate Barracks area, and oh my goodness. We have some stuff to get up to. We also watched Inver Gortash ruin my day. I'll see you not tomorrow, not Sunday, but Monday for another episode. Until then, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you uh, soon. Bye-bye.